Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today we shopping at Woolworths. This video is response to my last video that I did shopping at Aldi, uh, trying to uh, identify food uh, good for you. Uh, the video was titled uh, Healthy Food. Just remember, food cannot be healthy. Healthy is referring to people that are result of eating nutritious food. Um, when I go inside, I'll try to identify food that are empty. There's nothing that you can, uh, while eating, give to your body. I'll try to identify food with um, high hydro-generated fats. Those are pure poisons. And also foods that are high in carbohydrates, sugars, fructose, and so on. And, you know, if there are choice, I'll try to uh, show and probably explain why one choice is better than another. All right, let's come in and see what's in store. All right, let's start this uh, little fridge section with uh, green leaves, leafy fruit, uh, uh, vegetables. Everything pretty good. I would probably stay a little bit away from uh, starches, but everything that's uh, green leafy um, uh, package, not too bad. That's actually pretty good. Again, avocados are uh, best nutritious food that you can consume. Uh, go for them. At least one avocado if you like them, or couple if you if you if you enjoy eating them a day. Pretty good. Um, Sweet it is starch. If you, if you like it so much, you can consume it. But there's a very little benefit in that. Um, we've got tomatoes. Tomatoes are all right in moderation. Surprisingly, research shows that there's a more benefit in cooked tomatoes rather than fresh ones. Potatoes. Well, no go zone. Too much carbs. Too much starch. Not good. Um, we'll go to nuts and seed section I'll touch on there that just uh, um, I guess uh, uh, specials here apples one apple a day is all right otherwise too much fructose same with pears bananas um, I wouldn't say try to avoid them but try to minimize too much fructose if you would like to get potassium in your uh, diet banana is not the best choice um, Actually, this is a really good section. If you like fruit, there's nothing better than berries. Everything in moderation, but strawberry and um, uh, raspberry, pretty good. Uh, blueberry is good as well, but they are higher in fructose. Grapes, uh, no, no, too much sugar, too much fructose. Actually, problem with fruit is not um, fruct fruit itself, it's the amount of fructose inside. If there's a little fiber, there's too much fructose. Nuts. Um, cashews are not nuts. Uh, they got uh, they are nuts. They 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 um they have too much carbs in them, so I wouldn't touch them. Um, that is basically a trap. Macadamia is best nut you can buy for your money and consume. The moment you coat them in fructose, they're losing all their properties. So if you decide to spend your money on macadamias. Um, go for salted or unsalted ones, uh, something like um, roasted and salted macadamias, that's a great choice. That is poor choice. And you clearly can see how one product could be uh, denatured just like that. Uh, all of those junk food. Um, walnuts. Walnuts and almonds are good. Almonds I would probably soak overnight. Um, the uh, coating or shell of uh, almonds basically full of uh, phytonutrients that basically will chelate all the minerals that you consume so um, activated or soaked overnight almonds are good great walnuts are good just be careful uh, not to throw your omega 3s and 6s out of balance they're all good in moderations if I would go healthiest to unhealthiest option uh, in macadamia would be my first option then I cannot see pecans I think in a different show would be my second option and walnut would be third option 
and then Macadamia, sorry, uh, almonds in moderation would be my fourth option. Um, we've got healthy aisle here as the healthy snacks and chips, mostly organic. Everything that's crispy, uh, forget about it, don't touch it all. Um, have ever crispy, 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 and we're going to bars. Look, it doesn't matter what they put on the label, too much fructose, too much glucose, and other things. It's a lot of hidden things inside those uh, bars. I would not touch them. Um, organic section. I would like to quickly touch on organic. Uh, people will probably misunderstand organic. Uh, organic is great, but uh, the, sometimes organic is important, sometimes it's not. So if something is in the shell and it's not uh, sprayed as much, organic is not that as important as uh, open food. For example, if you're buying strawberries, they are organic. A really good um, example how that could be good. If you buy an organic macadamias, like for example these ones, and you spend your top dollar, macadamias are in the shell, they need to be um, cleaned. So if they're already in the shell, organics means literally nothing. So try to save your money. Not everything organic is great. It's definitely better, but uh, double the price for almost no benefit, not good for uh, for um, and of a budget so some things are organic good some are not uh, most of those seeds are great so this is a section I'll probably do a separate video on it um, one thing I would like to touch on is usually they've got uh, apple cider vinegar of from Bragg's today they don't I'll put a link down below in, this, in the video description um, that apple cider vinegar but uh, you can buy much cheaper and better quality uh, Bragg's brand um, from Amazon. I'll put video down below um, for those who are interested. Um, I will do a separate video on this section. Let's quickly go back to our fruits and vegetables. I touch on tomatoes. Cucumbers are good, they're just uh, mostly water, so uh, not much nutrition, not much uh, any damage. Uh, it's really good as a filler. Tomatoes great wash them cook them awesome onion uh, I would eat onion raw the moment you cook onion it's caramelizes it's becoming 100% fructose I would not touch it bell peppers or capsicums to be honest super food I will create separate video on vitamin C lemons limes grapefruits tend to be uh, common knowledge they've got uh, a big uh, amount of vitamin C you may not believe, but uh, red and green capsicums are the, the highest amount of vitamin C in, in those uh, vegetables. Onion, if you've got choice between brown and red, go red. Uh, there's a lot of more nutrients in red, but you know what, if you don't have red onion, no stress. Um, zucchinis are great. Uh, consume zucchinis if you can. Um, avocados, we touch on that. Carrots really good in moderation but please consume them they've got carotene which is really good another superfood mushrooms um, get as many as you want uh, really nice uh, funky in there a lot of nutrients let's move here try to avoid this section as much as you can it's not only fructose and uh, wheat or, or gluten also, the, the moment you eat it, um, besides all the inflammation, your body will be chelated of minerals and vitamins you already got in your body. Uh, and, and by the way, there's no bread is good bread. Uh, all the stuff, basically, your body does not need. Stay away. Oh my goodness, stay away. Let's go into... Uh, there's a whole bread section. I'll just bypass it. Wraps are not any better. Uh, manuka honey and other honeys look they may have antibacterial properties but again uh, it's pure fructose I would not touch it and this aisle I would like quickly quickly touch on uh, uh, peanut butters between good and bad when I say good and bad good are good just good and bad are plain nasty so if you got anything that is solid like that it's plain nasty it's um, if we pick up and look at the label um, we've got vegetable oil vegetable oil it's hydrogenated saturated fat that literally takes um, 
51 day for body to process such a, a, a vegetable oil I would not even touch it good peanut butters would be something like for example this choice see how um, oil separates that means they don't have a uh, hydro generated fats that's a naturally occurring uh, a peanut butter fat so for example maybe is like uh, as well you've got a lot of uh, yes I know it's not pretty when you're looking at it but it's really good healthy option everything is solid like that it's a plain junk another really good nutritious food uh, Vegemite uh, I think in America it's uh, got a different name on it, but uh, besides sodium content, it has uh, brewer's yeast or, or uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's the um, is it nutrition yeast? I don't remember what's the right name for it, but uh, yeast that is in Vegemite has all the vitamin B's that you need. It's really good for your skin. For example, I create a separate video on that, but if you got like uh, uh, cracking heels or just uh, rough skin, um, the um, vitamin B is what you are missing. And Vegemite is it's probably one of the best sources of vitamin B. Um, totally stay away from anything here. Sugar, 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 processed food, sugar. Even things like um, the only thing that I would touch here would be probably uh, plain oats, but the way they process it, they could be contaminated with uh, gluten. But from those two aisles, I would probably only pick oats if you have to, if you really need carbs and, and fibers. Let's go around here. Coffee. Coffee is good. I don't want to even look here. There's nothing nutritious over there. But coffee, coffee is good. I'll put uh, down description um, below a link for better priced coffee, better coffee. If you can buy local, buy local. But if you're already consuming coffee, I'll create a separate video on coffee. Try consuming black with no sugar, no milk. I actually create a separate video on that. Uh, coffee is great. Black coffee is great. Um, biscuits, tea is good too. Um, doesn't matter what tea you pick up, as long as it's not uh, flavored, it's all great. All that stuff is bad. Don't even want to touch sugar bombs. Uh, milk doesn't matter how. That's actually denatured milk. Milk completely. Ah, oh, actually, quite. I would like to touch quickly on uh, milk replacement. Soy. Um, do yourself and your uh, family a favor. Do not touch it. Uh, we've got soy. Uh, everything that's made from soy is genetically modified soy. It will skyrocket um, level of estrogens in your body so there's a number of uh, different types of estrogen they could uh, let's put it in plain English good estrogen and bad estrogen so this will spike your uh, bad estrogen and uh, um, boys uh, it will fight your testosterone um, so it's pretty bad um, but you've got almond milk uh, watch sugars in that so as long as uh, you uh, pick uh, almond milk with less sugar and there's no carrageenan, which is an inflammatory uh, component of almond milk. It's actually a stabilizer. It should be all good. Juices. Doesn't matter whether it's a chilled juice or shell juice, do not touch it. It's a pure fructose. will go in the liver, get you uh, through a process of uh, nova. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it will go through a process of creating fat around liver, clog the liver. Um, the post code the novel lipogenesis, but uh, what it does, it basically goes to liver, processes it to uh, fat droplets, and clogs liver and suffocates it. Um, it's the disease of 21st century fatty liver, non alcoholic fatty liver, and it's pretty bad. And what really gets me, um, they feed uh, all that stuff to kids, it's pretty bad. Uh, ah, so much, uh, so much so. That's pretty, really pretty sad to see. I mean, look at that. Basically, you got. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to even go there. The label is pretty bad. Milk. Um, milk is not good for you. Um, I think I explained it before. Um, milk got denatured in the last hundred years. Milk, uh, two main ingredients would be. Uh, uh, casein which is A1 or A2 um, and um, 
uh, lactose. Lactose you can get out of milk, it's uh, milk sugars, right? But um, you can do something with uh, casein. So if you've got choice, if you've got choice, get A2 milk. Um, What's A2 milk? A2 milk is a little bit better than A1. But if you can, avoid milk altogether. There's a plenty of milk replacements you can uh, uh, buy. Um, energy drinks. However you look at them, they're pretty bad for you and not because of the caffeine. Uh, there's a lot of nasty stuff in them. The one I've in touch, um, don't buy. Um, Powerade, Gatorade and all of that. If you really can for electrolytes, make them yourselves. Uh, electrolytes are magnesium, uh, sodium and uh, potassium. Uh, the moment you buy something like that, it would have uh, chemicals in it. Bottled water, only if you must. Um, water is not that clean. We've got pretty clean water from a tap. Uh, when it's plastic, uh, it's in a plastic container, the chemicals will be leaching into water anyway. Um, I was touching before, um, coconut is uh, literally a superfood. Uh, the products we can get from coconut uh, in, a, in a liquid would be uh, water, milk, cream, um, and oil. Out of all of those, water is no go. It's uh, almost uh, pure uh, glucose fructose. So I know it's a trend. Uh, do not consume it. If you really like coconuts, consume everything, everything else but water. Not even discussing this section. It's a very nasty fructose and additives. Uh, and by the way, I would like to talk about natural flavors. There's nothing natural about flavors. Um, so if you see natural flavor, it's actually pretty bad stuff. Fructose, fructose, fructose. And by the way, if you see, where's the sugar free? Those one. Um, so uh, I did create a separate video on sugar replacements. Uh, the sugar replacement we use here, it's a pretty bad one. What it does, it will upset gut bacteria. So if you have to use sugar replacement, there are good options, which is erythritol, monk fruit, and stevia. Use those. Oh, it's a pretty bad aisle to pick. Chewing gum is good for you. Everything in moderation. I use sugar-free, but most of the gums are sugar-free, which is good. All right. All right, guys. Uh, so, if you want make really good sauces, make yourself know what ingredients you put in. But what we got here, we got fructose, 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 and fructose. Um, Tabasco is only a good sauce for you. It's a bit of vinegar, a bit of uh, chili, which is good. Everything else, what I can see is fructose. Pickles. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. So we've got prebiotic and probiotic. So uh, uh, prebiotic would be artichokes and asparagus. And probiotic, would, so it's probiotic and prebiotic would be uh, sauerkraut and all of that. Just, you know, when you buy, make sure that it's not salted. It's fermented like sauerkraut fermented and uh, most of the artichokes will be fermented um, and, and, and that's why you get really good gut bacteria if you just buy salted uh, there could be a lot of sugar a lot of other nasty stuff mayo seriously um, google mayo uh, how to make it make it yourself um, the only reason why mayo is not good like even if you in ketogenic diet you can say hi mayo is 100% fat yes it is but it's made from uh, hydrogenated vegetable oils here in all that form when you make it yourself you would make it from avocado oil or macadamia oil which is make it super nutritious super you know super food everything here basically would uh, inflame your body even if you're on ketogenic diet not good at all um, vinegars are good, that's the best dressing for your salad, so go for it. Um, oils, that's the part that I really would like to talk about. Um, if you buy oil, um, try to understand how oil works and, and, and what's the difference between oils. You've got uh, shelf-stable oils, you've got um, heat-stable oils, and sorry, I'll get out of people. Was way uh, shelf stable oils. So you got uh, heat stable oils. So if you buy uh, uh, olive oil, 
try to get the extra version, that means it wasn't heated, it was squeezed the first squeeze, and try to make sure that it's in a dark bottle and it's as fresh as possible. Um, unfortunately, uh, olive oil denatures very quickly at, on sunlight and when you are heating it up. So do not cook with uh, uh, olive oil. Olive oil is amazing. There's a lot of uh, oleic acid in it, which is basically a uh, very good antioxidant and good for many things. But do not cook in olive oil. If you cook, I would suggest cooking in avocado oil. In... where is that? Uh, macadamia or somewhere here. So last time... Uh, all right, maybe not there today. Um, oh yeah, it's here. So you got macadamia oil. Uh, it's heat stable. You got avocado oil. It's heat stable. Uh, you may cook in uh, coconut oil. It's heat stable. And what to avoid? What to avoid is anything that is what I call flower oil. Um, so basically, that oil is pretty bad. You got vegetable oil that's actually poison i'm not sure how legally they can sell that that's um there's nothing nothing natural about it canola canola oil is pretty bad sunflower oil not good another canola oil so try to avoid all those oils altogether they actually made uh look good but they are poison like literally poison so if, if you buy oils um, avocado or macadamia oil for cooking maybe coconut oil uh, if you are uh, using in salad olive oil and um, that probably it gluten 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 uh, even if you're not gluten intolerant um, gluten coming in, uh, in contact with body create a lot of inflammation and will be most likely flushing most of the autoimmune diseases if you got predisposition sugar no comment sugar 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 oh i'll show you something really sneakily good kind of rubbish in most of the food but that is super food look at that coca powder right i know it's always brand and everything but look at the ingredients where are ingredients ingredients 100 percent coca powder no additives no sugars nothing if you would like to cook something, I'll put a link down below, use erythritol, use the coca powder and use your uh, almond meal and you've got uh, extremely great cakes with superfood for kids. Please feed your kids well, avoid all the wheat, avoid sugars and avoid uh, uh, soy. So basically, if you, if, you, if you buy chocolate cake, it will be soy, it will be vegetable oil, it will be sugar, it will be wheat, all the stuff that make them um, really inflamed and resistant and intolerant to other things. If you cook it yourself, here's a product to use, 100% cocoa, um, erythritol, um, almond meal, where's that? Should be somewhere here. You know, it's a good alternative to everything. Uh, Oh, here you go that's one of the best one to uh, replace the um, wheat or flour that's that's amazing food oh while we're in that section another super food uh, sunflower seeds great vitamin b and everything uh, pepitas zinc especially if you're vegetarian you may struggle with source of zinc uh, pepitas are a really good source of zinc what else what else um, again uh, dried fruit I know it's fruit but it's pure fructose try to stay away and uh, there's nothing good about anything of that all oh, right that's interesting section uh, cheap and cheerful I know it's not everyone cup of tea but if we're going down the aisle 75 cents per can if you eat can of sardines a day, you've got your daily requirement of omega-3. You've got your daily requirement for all good oils, calcium, um, zinc and other things. So I'd say if you're talking about superfood, go for this. I know some people will disgust it by taste, but if you can stomach it, that is your superfood. 
uh, be careful of tunas and I will not touch on red salmon and other salmons if it's wild Alaskan is great it, the cheaper cuts would have a uh, Norwegian farm salmon stay away they're feeding them um, antibiotic they're feeding them feces they're feeding them all the cheap stuff um, if you buy salmon try to get uh, wild salmon right and again all tunas are great if you buy something again I would like to come back see you got in oil that's not good oil that's actually rancid oil um, uh, if you buy something buy in spring water drain the water and you got super food so with the rest of this stuff if you got any taste added um, I don't know, like triple chilies and all of that it will have or tomato and onion whatever try to stay away from any flavors they will add all the nasty stuff in so they take good product and denature it by the way is nothing wrong with tin food if they don't have a um, BP lining in tins sometimes you you can buy like sardines there really good option for anything all right let's keep going tuna be careful tuna could be high in mercury I would not consume tuna more than once a week uh, beans uh, look I'm not against beans uh, a really good fiber and everything it's good but uh, carbohydrates are not good for us and I'll create a separate video on this hey by the way look at this that is super good uh, consume asparagus as much as you want it's really good prebiotic um, uh, with artichoke it's two uh, natural superfoods uh, nothing here is good it's pre-packaged spices and all of that that's that's a lot of chemicals inside carbs 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 sugar 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 fructose there's a lot of fructose baked beans um, they've taken something that was half okay which is beans and added high okay what they did there's fructose uh, look at that uh, sugars 12.8 grams right carbohydrate 30 grams that means 30% of that tin is actual uh, um, sugar or fructose that is nasty no comment there um, rice and everything try to avoid doesn't matter what you buy it will be high in arsenic arsenic is poison so and it's high in carbohydrates as well um, tomatoes be careful, all the paste got uh, a lot of sugar. Um, let's pick up anything. Actually, I've got no preference. Where's normal tomato? Uh, ah, let's pick up any. Like, we pick up this one. So, we've got what's ingredients? Ingredients. That's actually not too bad. It's actually not too bad. I'm not sure what I put in, but uh, five grams of carbohydrates. That's actually a good choice. I there are some good choices in tomatoes, but remember, tomatoes are good uh, cooked. Pastas stay away. Gluten will make your body inflamed. Will be, make your body insulin resistant. I will create a separate video on why we always hungry, why we cannot lose weight that's the reason why um, that will make you sick that will make you eventually sick all right kid stuff do me a favor do not feed kids that stuff um, I'm, I'm not sure why it's even allowed um, as a 15 grams of sugar and 100 grams of product that's really crazy 15 grams of sugar poor kids liver and insulin you know they're just developing the digestive tract and that would kill most of the good bacteria straight away all right let's go to freezer section that's actually the most interesting section in the shop well junk food junk food junk food junk food junk food but we eventually get somewhere um that's all junk food here that's awesome um, look that's the uh, health trap people say well that's good for see uh, I saw an episode on, on TV and the news about health stars for health stars so 
So let's pick one of those. Uh, we pick it up and where's the ingredients and that stuff? Ingredients. Fish, 51%. You can only guess what's the rest. Wheat flour. So you've got 50 grams on 100 grams of product flour and other things so you got gluten on top of fish and by the way the fish they're using the cheapest fish they they can farm so it's a farm fish with all antibiotics right and you got gluten and it's the flour on top and you got uh, uh, sugars and all that stay away if you would like fish uh, buy fish in the shop and uh, just cook cook the way it is don't don't buy cram that's pretty nasty stuff well ice cream I love ice cream, but I don't need ice cream. That's your choice. Um, in the frozen section, um, look, uh, chips, they're made of potatoes. It's starch, starch pretty bad for you, um, rise the glucose levels, but on top of that, they're taking potatoes, injected them with hydrogenated vegetable oil, and made bad food um, extremely poisonous. But that section has the best bits. Uh, look at that. We've got ginger, superfood. We've got, uh, we've got, we've got, we've got broccoli. Honestly, um, for people that uh, going through hormone disbalance, uh, a lot of estrogen, uh, a lot of uh, you know things to do with hormones. Broccoli uh, with the cauliflower, cauliflower, and. Um, Brussels sprouts are the best way to fight bad estrogen in the body. Will help um, uh, women uh, during the menopause, will help men not to get men boobs and other things. Uh, pretty good stuff. Eggs. I think I touched on eggs before. Look, um, if you cannot, uh, if you can avoid uh, cage eggs, that's great. Uh, but the idea of eggs is not cage or non cage. Try to get. Um, pasture-raised or you know free range is all right but it's not uh, the chickens that eat uh, grass and worms and all of that uh, the, the eggs get in uh, enough um, levels of omega-3 so omega-3 from eggs it's one of the best sources and by the way if you drain or separate egg whites and uh, have uh, mostly egg yolks um, you basically cover most of your vitamins and minerals not minerals, probably vitamins uh, um, from egg. There's a lot of vitamins and, and the yolk. Uh, whites are pure protein and it's very inflammatory. But eggs are superfood. Eat your eggs, they're good for you. Um, people say if you eat eggs, um, you get a high level of cholesterol. I'll touch on that. Dietary cholesterol does not result in blood cholesterol. And by the way, if you're talking about blood cholesterol as LDL, it's not a cholesterol, it's a triglyceride carrier. I'll talk about it later. Uh, look, cheeses. I love cheeses. There are good cheeses, there are bad cheeses. Uh, if you buy cheese and you can afford, try to go for harder, more aged cheeses. Look, um, that's really, really looking really good. You've got um, uh, Parmesan, really good. Uh, soft cheeses, uh, there's a lot of A1 casein proteins from milk, try to avoid. Eight cheeses are better, but if you don't have choice, any cheese is better than sweet stuff. So consume cheese in moderation. It's very calorically dense, but it's good food for you. Let's talk about. Um, oh, that's a good section of cheeses. Look, uh, feta, great. Um, what else is here? Feta is one of the great cheeses. Um, You've got what else here? Mozzarella like that, not too bad, but uh, look, go with hard cheese, a uh, halloumi, it's amazing cheese. So, cheese is good. Now, if you'd like to cook, that's where it comes to butter. Butter, we've been told the butter is bad for you. Seriously, guys, there's nothing better for you than butter. What you should stay away from is that stuff see how they give you good health stars and what's a cholesterol leveling uh, lowering uh, spreads 
spread means vegetable oil. Let's pick up, ah oh, yeah, like four and a half stars, lower cholesterol. Why would you lower cholesterol? Ask me, I'll tell you why we shouldn't lower your cholesterol. But uh, let's look at the ingredients. Vegetable oil, vegetable oil, it's uh, hydro generated, uh, artificial uh, flower oils like canola and all of that. That stuff will sit as a poison in your body for 51 days at least to break down and then will have trace um, trace of the poison with you forever. Try to avoid anything that's spreadable made from vegetable oil. So if you pick up, that's even olive, like you say, pick up olive one. Um, what are ingredients? Vegetable oils, the first ingredient on the label. Vegetable oils, 55%. That means you've got nasty stuff there, 55% at least. What you should go with is pure butter. Pure butter is great. And if you would like something soft, I think that would be that would be your spreadable butter. What's the ingredients? Yep. So that's your spreadable butter. It should be no vegetable oils. See how it's 78% oh no, sorry, 26% canola oil. Avoid. Um, what is the spreadable butter? I cannot believe they wouldn't have one. Uh, is there anything remotely good for you? Butter soft. Let's have a look at that. Where's the ingredients? Ah, look, ingredients. Pasteurized cream from milk, salt, milk, 80% fat. That is awesome stuff for you to spread. If you would like to, buy, to go to Woolworths and buy something that good for you, buy this. No vegetable oil. That's awesome. Dips. Dips are full of sugar, sugar, fructose, sugar, fructose, sugar. Actually, before I go anywhere, I would like to touch on um, any yogurts that will have um, fruits in them. They are pretty bad for you. It's a bit stuff here, bit stuff there. When you pick up yogurt, try to see. Um, well, first of all, if you eat yogurt, eat full fat yogurt. And when you pick up yogurt, uh, check how much where's the how much carbohydrate. So the lower carbohydrate level will be good. Ideally, less than five grams per hundred. So this one, seven point one grams, not too bad. Uh, that would be one of the best yogurts. But uh, also, if you'd like some prebiotic and probiotic, get kefir, especially if it's lower in um, sugar. Where's the kefir? Yes, ah, it will be here. Here you go. So that stuff is uh, good for you. Carbohydrate, oh my goodness, 13 grams. That's not real kefir. Um, if you can find... Uh, where's the kefir? Uh, let's try to find... Kefir. Sugar is 8.9 grams, it's getting better, but try to find you know, kefir uh, with low amount of... Okay, there's a kefir here, maybe this one is good. Carbohydrate, that's a good one. Four... no, yeah, 5.6 grams to 100. That product, if you would like to drink instead of milk, that's a good product. It's really good probiotic and um, just, you know, don't trust label until you read ingredients. Um, less than five grams per hundred grams uh, or hundred mils it's really good for you so if you would like milk replacement kefir is a good one what happens with kefir when they fermented the lactose in the milk getting fermented into um, probiotic right so bacteria eats the lactose as a sugar it feeds on it and makes kefir so that's really good alternative to milk however if you make coffee with it um, the coffee temperature will uh, kill all the kefir beneficial bacteria and fun fact here if you consume yogurt yogurt have uh, between up to 10 beneficial bacteria kefir got around 51 beneficial bacteria in them so consume kefir instead of yogurt if you want more uh, gut bacteria benefit so I think I covered everything today um, if you would like to know a little bit more about foods that I did not cover or foods that you consume and you're not sure about, please ask away.
probably I forgot something, but um, I'll, I meant to come back and, 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 and film again. So here's a local Woolworths and uh, you can find food that are good for you. Try to avoid carbohydrates, try to avoid vegetable fats, try to avoid um, natural flavors and go with um, um, good protein, good fat food. Uh, and stay healthy so you reduce inflammation and um, um, help yourself help your body to uh, fight what body fights anyhow um, I'm glad that I wasn't kicked out of here and um, if you would like to know more please comment down below I place links from products that I don't buy from any supermarkets down below um, and uh,